Alrighty Hosses, in this video I want to talk to you about responsive and non-responsive images and the difference between the two and also how to embed responsive videos so they don't look horrible on your website. Now before we get to responsive and non-responsive I'm just going to show you guys some really basic image classes and some styling that you can do with them. And the first one is image and I have two images that I imported. Here is one called ladies.jpg and here's another one this is me when I was uh, I don't know like in third grade or something look at those chompers right there those are some beautiful <laughs> that's exactly what I look like now by the way I did not change one bit <laughs> alright so the source of this first image let's go ahead and use that teeth one teeth.jpg and that's in my images directory teeth.jpg what a name. All right. So let's say that we wanted to round the corners of this. Well, there's a built in class, and this is called Image Rounded. Now, whenever you stick these on a website, let's say a social networking website, you usually want to give it a set width and height so they don't appear at weird proportions. Now, all of the images on my social network are 230 by 230. So, actually, let me just go ahead and make both of these at once. So, this is going to make an image that's 230 wide by 230 tall, and the corners are going to be slightly rounded. Now, for some reason, it's the trend to have images that are completely circle now, especially profile images. So, in order to get that effect, use the class image circle. So, if I run this, check it out. So this is the first one with slightly rounded corners and you see these circular ones a lot on you know like I said a bunch of different social networks um, Google Plus is doing it I really like just plain old square images but you know whatever floats your boat there you go now another thing I want to mention is what is the difference between a responsive and a non responsive image now let me go ahead and just delete these completely all right, so for this, let me go ahead and use images, ladies.jpg, and let's just go ahead and make the responsive one first. So anytime you want your image to be responsive, use the class image responsive. Now what this is going to do is whenever you shrink your screen or you're just looking at on a small screen and the image is wider then the screen then it's gonna shrink with it kinda confusing but it's easy to see what's going on whenever I put a non-responsive image and you just do that by getting rid of this class so this is a bootstrap class that makes your images responsive and this is just you know a plain old image so now let me run this and I'll show you guys so at first alright not that big a deal nothing's really different but look what happens whenever I start to shrink this and this is going to resemble a smaller screen like a tablet or a uh, phone so I'm shrinking it and as you can see the top one that's responsive it's shrinking along with the device so on a phone or a tablet this would still look great now down here look what happens the image just gets cut off because if it's like hey I'm longer than the screen don't care you can just chop half me off I mean oops embarrassing so you clearly always want to use responsive images whenever you are working with bootstrap unless you know you want to go with that half of your image cutoff effect which no one ever does now the last thing I want to do is show you guys how to make videos responsive and I already have this one pulled up so grab any video on YouTube and get the code so if you look at V equals all of it after it is the video code it's pretty much the ID for the video and I'll show you how to make videos responsive now the first thing you need to do is you need to make a div and the divs class is going to be embed responsive and embed responsive 16 by 9 
Now this right here is just going to say whatever item I stick in here, give it the proportions of 16 by 9 and that's a standard video's proportion. Now inside here is saying, okay, what do you want to embed? Well, we're just going to embed this as an iframe and the parameters for this is class and this is dependent on what you're trying to embed but I happen to know that for YouTube videos the one I love the most is embed responsive item and the source we just put the URL of the embedded video so HTTP www.youtube.com slash embed slash that video code actually let me eh, looks good enough don't need to clean it up but now if you run this check it out all right so since this is responsive whenever your screen is wide it's going to take up the full width of the screen so if we start to shrink this instead of just getting cut off since this is i believe this video is um 1920 by 1080 which is my entire computer screen look what happens so this is excellent no matter how big your screen is especially recommended for tablets and phones because look at that nothing's getting cut off you can play it beautiful so that is how you use images responsive images different image styles and also how to embed responsive videos and I know that you know this looks a little bit goofy with all the different repetitive classes and better response from better response 16 by 9 is better blah, blah, blah. but hey you gotta yell at the people who made bootstrap not me so anyways thank you guys for watching see you next time